Good day fellas, I hope you're ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a classical IS6 or I suppose to say outdated IS6. Yeah, I have a feeling this tank uh, days are kind of over. I mean, it is not that horrible, I cannot say this tank is unplayable or something, you know. Um, but I can tell you one thing, this vehicle is not as good as it used to ski. This tank is not as good as it used to be before, right? Um, at least that's how I feel like. The gun handling is actually looking quite trollish, although you can hit your shots. To be fair with you, you can even snapshot with this tank. In this kind of situation, I am kind of... Uh, I have a tiny PP. Nice. Well... That's how you can get distracted, I guess. Anyways, uh, what I want to say, I want to say sometimes gun handling of this vehicle can actually work and you can hit your shots. But if the game is saying no, then you can go and eat Kaku. Now, the most important thing which I want to highlight of all this is... This tank is lacking of penetration, not a standard one. Standard one penetration is completely fine. 196 millimeters of penetration, it's half of the trouble. Although there is plenty of mediums which have a higher one. And obviously slow shell velocity. But the gold penetration, 225. So you are getting extra, let's say, 30 degrees of, the, mm, uh, of penetration. And you are getting a bit uh, faster shell velocity. But it's nothing compared to today's standards, you know. And obviously, by any shape or any form, the tank can work. Um, by saying this, if you are meeting the tier 6s, you kind of don't need penetration. You, you, you know what I mean, fellas? You do not really need penetration against the tier 6. So this is where this tank is shining. You meet lower tiers or alternatively um, tanks without armor and then you can say, ho, 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 ho. Come here, but whenever you are meeting Skoda T56, you will take 1,000 in three and a half seconds, and you will say sorry. This is exactly what you are going to say. Sorry, mate. Uh, my bad. I sincerely apologize. That was my fault. I will never ever go into the game with this tank ever again. This is what you are going to say about this. Anyways, luckily for us, enemies are making some mistakes there and there. So that's absolutely amazing and that's awesome. And we will try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can. Trying to aim for Cupola. <laughs> nowadays, well as nowadays, we cannot penetrate weak spots aka Cupolas with 200 penetration. That's nuts. Anyways, um, let's see what do we have trying to aim for cupola and kaboom oh we tapped that two key fellas we tapped that two key i knew it was worth it i knew it was worth it hey mate how are you doing Ooh, three. <laughs> Speaking of RNG, here you go. Uh, a bit of the RNG for you. Anyways, let's try to deal with those um, 1 to 2 TMs. Hopefully we can do this properly. Let's take our time and we should have a good angle here. Beautiful. Minus 400. Excellent. I have a better DPM than this gentleman does. So I should be relatively alright to penetrate him just like so. Could you please stop pushing me? Miscuse! <laughs> Ooh, fellas. Ooh, this is this is world of tanks which I know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is world of tanks which we know nowadays, right? Anyways, uh, this is as much as we are going to get. Um, our team was quite friendly, uh, considering they all pushing around and everything. The game treated us relatively okay in this game, apart obviously we cannot penetrate the cupola. And everything but other than that it is fine. This is a tier 8 matchmaking. Majority of the enemies have good enough guns in order to beat the living crap out of us. And that's what we have and there is nothing what we can change about this. All in all I am feeling relatively happy. Let's teleport to the scoreboard. 
And we are back, fellas. So what do we have? We have 2.7 thousand damage, 999 assisting damage. Uh, we have a second class overall speaking about our game. And that's okay, honestly. We are second by experience. We are second by the damage. And we made 72,000 credits. That's not that bad considering we had four minute game, right? I would say this is pretty decent. Let's go for round number two. And we are back, fellas. We have another tier 8 game, but this time in live, folks, which is very nice. And one thing which I forgot to mention so far is uh, um, speaking about the pref matchmaking of the tank. Skill, what the flying F is pref matchmaking? Well, pref matchmaking is whenever you cannot meet the two tiers higher tanks. So in this situation, we cannot meet tier 10s. In the worst case scenario, we can meet the tier 9s. But I can promise you one thing. If you are meeting E75 with this tank, and you are loading APCRs and you are saying you have 225 millimeters of penetration, every single E75 player will laugh at you. Uh, you do not want to fight against the tier 9s, I can promise you that. In the worst case scenario, you want to deal against the um, lower armored tier 8s, I would say. Even Defender, if I'm not mistaken, he has 220 millimeters of the lower plate penetration armor, right? So, yeah, you just do not want to fight against the higher tiers or better armored tanks. It's just not the time for that. Um, and this is honestly one of the things which is holding this vehicle back, at least that's what I want to believe. Anyways, in this kind of situation, I think I am going to spank this Astron Rex. This is what I'm thinking about, and this is going to be risky. 3, 2, 1, ha ha! <laughs> Woo, snapshot, beautiful, very, very nice. I do not want to be too aggressive yet. Or do I? No, I do not want to be too aggressive. And in nowadays World of Tanks, when the games are so quick, I think mobility is one of the most important features of the tank. And nowadays, if you do not have mobility, you pretty much do not have anything in a way. And this is very important thing to say. So whenever you are playing with the tanks like, let's say, IS-6, whoop, I'm going for a blind shot. Did I hit him? Time will show. I just went for it. By the way, I do not really like the situation, but T-34 went way too deep in. And since he went too deep in, he cannot change absolutely anything here, fellas. The, I am pretty sure they have sniper schnitzels who are sitting here. And I think in this kind of situation, we need to escape. Yep, I noticed we haven't uh, touched the board there, but that's okay. At this point... We want to escape. Skill, why do you want to escape? Well, simple math, fellas. One, two, three, four, five. Five guns. We have four guns. And look at the guns we have. We have Borat, which will never ever see the fight because he will run after two seconds. Uh, we have T-34 slash 2. By the way, recently I played with this tank and it's actually not that bad as I initially thought it is. We have IS-6. Actually, what kind of IS-6? He's already for a run. And we have T-34. Um, TP 53 or 53 TP. So yeah, fellas. In this kind of situation, it's not that bad. Our team should win this. So whenever our team will secure this side, I hope, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, they will return for a base defense. If they will, this could be an easy victory. At least I hope so. Now look at this. Like I said before, Borat is saying, <laughs> what support? Uh, and once again, he is doing a good thing. That means he has a minimap. And this is pretty good stuff fellas good okay how well armored are they the question is how our 200 millimeters of penetration will uh, last against the enemies in this kind of situation do I want to escape even more probably I should probably I should fellas hmm Okay, what is happening in my head? I am considering my life choices. I cannot even penetrate his lower plate. Okay, gold on. I do not really think gold will help us that much, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but we will try to do something anyways. Oh, let's go and bam. Very nice. 420. Ooh. Game wants to say something for me. You dirty game. Okay, let's see what we can do now. 
three auction to the lower plate very very good and once again this is this is what you need to do because you are lacking of penetration with this tank at least gun handling is not looking that bad one more thing which i noticed drop stabilizer for improved aiming improved aiming is working so much better for this vehicle at least in my humble opinion and at least you can hit your shots uh, with a stabilizer even though your bloom is not that humongous but you are struggling so much more uh, at least i am speaking from my experience so far beautiful this game is dead x um, this tank is dead excellent by the way fellas my tongue is a bit going blah, 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 blah. i apologize for that i already streamed uh, today for seven hours so don't mind me if my brain will fart a little bit i apologize for that meanwhile cover we're on action shit okay let's take our time to aim 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 bam Skill! This gun is unplayable. What do you mean this gun is unplayable? Try to aim a little bit. Aim, 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 aim. Bam! Skill, you needed to say something about the gun handling. Couldn't you just simply... And say nothing? Watch this. All I needed to do, I needed to look at him with my ad, mad eyes. And that's what we have. Nice. Okay. 2.3700. Plus on top of that, there is still a lot of things for us to do. We know there is three guns on the other side. Uh, and we know T-92 never ever was spotted. To be completely honest with you, I have a feeling this T-92 should sit around this area. Maybe even here in bushes uh, over there. Let's check it out. I know Astron Rex can spank me like there is no tomorrow. I am very, very well aware of that. But I need to figure out where this mother trucker is. And... Four, four, four. Although that was a low roll. That was a low roll. And you see, I am taking my time to aim. I am taking my sweet time. Especially whenever you are seeing the light tank looking into the other side. That means his minimap is more likely size of this. So you are feeling pretty good. And quick hand for every single of you. Make minimap bigger. Make minimap, minimap bigger, fellas. It is a free hack for every single of us. Okay, Astron Rex. Oh, yo, 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 Astron Rex is very dangerous tank. He has four in the magazine. He has four seconds reload, but he can beat you like there is no tomorrow. So, yeah. In the same time, I have a feeling he... He's running here. He will try to play hold down over there. At least that's what I want to believe. And you know what? More I think about this, more I want to be involved. Maybe this is not the smartest thing to do. What do you think? He's on the reload, probably. I am giving information for our guys. He could sit here. And you know what? More I think, more I do not want to make pressure here anymore. But what to do? We are playing with IS-6. What to do, fellas? Alternative option is obviously to go back for a base defense. But in the same time, fellas, don't be mad on me if I do not really want to do that. Okay, let's try to cross like this. We should be spotted. Not a big surprise. Damn. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Good. Even though I took 600 for the team, luckily for us, this gentleman is dead and we are feeling fine. Obviously, ISX armor is not bad by any means or by any shape. But if you are meeting a person who knows he is going to deal with a heavy tank uh, any moment, obviously he will load gold. If he will load gold, your armor is not that great as you would love it to be. And this is a fact. Um... Can we yell on this gentleman? Gold noob! Well, fellas, let's be real. If you are using premium account, uh, more likely you can afford to shoot a couple of the gold shells there and there, right? And considering Astron Rex, he has only 30 ammunition. When I marked that tank, I was spamming full gold. I'm not proud of this, but this is World of Tanks. This is how the things are looking like, fellas. This is how the things are looking like. Now, if I am going to react properly, I am going to spank him like there is no tomorrow. Beep! 
And this is going to be the next victim. To be fair with you, high explosive is not necessary. And here we go. Look. 3.2 thousand damage, 900 assisting damage. Even though this tank is outdated comparing to the Škoda T56, this dog still can bite from time to time, fellas. And it can bark. Let's teleport to the scoreboard. And we are back, fellas. Um, 3.2 thousand damage, 900 assisting damage. Once again, pretty good game. Second by experience, second by the damage. And we made 64,000 credits, although we shot quite a bit of the gold ammunition because we needed to. And now speaking about how much gold ammunition costs on this tank, uh, 4.8 thousand for extra 30 penetration. Ooh, this can be pricey very, very quick. Anyways, let's go for round number three. Let's go. And the third game. Okay, there is nothing to flex with, fellas. Uh, this is divorce matchmaking, which we can... Well, not ki not that bad. Okay, never mind. I'm taking my words back. This is almost divorce matchmaking, which we can get. Luckily for us, we have some tier 7s to show dominance against. Uh, but all and all, looking into all of this, uh, this is a tier 9 matchmaking. And I can tell you one tank we do not want to meet. Phase 1. If we will meet phase one, uh, we will say, ay, 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 and we are going to cry, fellas. So, what we are doing, we are trying to do the things in a bit different way. I will try to go up like this, and maybe I can turn here. This is what I am thinking at this point. Because I want to believe I am not going to meet the phase one sitting here. Because it is not the position where this gentleman should go and should play. Uh, I hope we are going to meet maybe IS or something, you know. That's what I am hoping for. Okay, beautiful. So far we do not see anyone here. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And I have an idea. Watch this. High explosive on. Skill what you are doing. You see this light tank? Soon we will see the same light tank. Wait. 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 Soon we will see the same light tank, fellas. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unlucky, unlucky fellas, oh boy, ooh, 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 oh, and that was funny, okay, that was absolutely amazing fellas, he shit his pants, his ass was, was bleeding, and oh boy, he said every shit I'm out, I do not care about this game anymore, everything is fine, see ya, <laughs> this is exactly what he said, we are going to go together with this guy, you know what? This is not the wisest choice, this is not the smartest choice, but you know what, I never ever was the wisest. Let's go. Let's try to flank enemies. Hopefully this will work uh, pretty well. Obviously since we are dealing against the heavy tanks, I am going to load APCRs at this point. And now we need to make it work. We must make it work. So at this point, the first shot into the face ass. Never mind. Since we cannot see the face as we are feeling completely fine. Emil is saying, oi, 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 This is what Emil is saying, and now we are going to spank him like there is no tomorrow. And now our time to shine. Luckily for us, we manage to flank enemy forces, and since we manage to flank enemy forces, they are not going to... Ooh, they are not going to enjoy themselves. And once again, in this kind of situation, this gun is working completely fine. You cannot say it is unplayable, you cannot say it is outdated dated tank you cannot say this tank is worth a pile of absolutely nothing it is not the case it is looking relatively all right fellas and in fact we do not really need gold ammunition since we are banging enemies in the butt anyway so it is not looking that bad is it beautiful chrysler is dead and now we are going to say hello for phase one you know what i like the most i like the most our cover three shooting high explosives like non-stop high explosive pew high explosive pew high explosive pew Yes, fellas. Okay, beautiful, very nice. Another 3,000. 
once again, it doesn't look bad whatsoever if you would ask me and everything went well. But to be completely honest with you, everything went well just because of that gentleman who blessed us with a, with a start of 600 in the ass and after that crashing his vehicle because he shit his pants, fellas. He truly did. And once again, um, pretty enjoyable game and pretty enjoyable situation. Well, if we are not speaking about that, we have a 15 to 5 game. Uh, but to be completely honest with you fellas, I am not even counting 15 to 5 games. It's just how World of Tanks are looking like nowadays. And I remember scale back in 2020 or in 2021 an unbalanced game nowadays, you know. We have a very good uh, saying in Lithuanian language. Ir karimas pripranta. You know what that basically means? Even hanging dog is getting used for this. Uh, just how the game is looking like nowadays. Either you adapt or either you don't. And if you do not adapt, then um, what you are doing in this game, right? And once again, if you are not enjoying World of Tanks, uh, why to play the game when you can watch the skill? Why to play the game? Um, I can tell you another story. Uh, I used to love RuneScape. I used to play RuneScape back in the day and I used to love this game. And nowadays, um, in the best case scenario, I am just watching the um, RuneScape videos. Right? That's what I am doing. Obviously, I'm not playing because I do not really have time for that. Uh, but I believe we have at least some people who are watching um, World of Tanks content even though they are not playing the game for years. At least that's what I want to believe. And that's what I hear pretty much every day whenever um, I am streaming. Anyways, what do we want to do? We want to spank this Esterva. I believe we can penetrate him quite easily. Uh, since um, we can overmatch him and since we can overmatch him, it is uh, our duty to show some dominance. In fact, let's load high explosives just for shits and giggles. If I will hit him into Cupola, we are going to have um, a very, very nice hit. Are you ready? I don't care. I will take one for the team. Yes, look at me. Greetings and bam. Ooh, 500. And that's what I am talking about. That's what you can do for Esterva. And I believe this is a game over. I do not really think we can get another extra shot. Um, and yeah, this is game over. But that's okay. I am not complaining about this performance. And I think it was a pretty good one. Let's report to the scoreboard. And we are back, fellas. So, what do we have? We have second class. We have Confederate Medal. 3.4 thousand damage. 400 assisting damage. 1.1 thousand base experience. Second class. Oh, uh -huh, because probably we do not have kills. Uh, and we made 77,000 credits. The biggest kudos for um, enemy 1357. You made my evening. Thank you very much for that beautiful, beautiful driving experience. And obviously going as fast. Uh, it was very, very, very enjoyable. And fellas, in the end of the day, after three games with this vehicle, we have 3.1 thousand damage and 700 assisting damage. Uh, it is not as good tank as I showed for you, fellas. Please keep this in mind. It is not that great of a vehicle. And do not expect to, you know, non-stop to have the result like this because it is not going to be the case. Uh, but... Um, as you can see, if all stars are aligned, if you are getting a good team, if the RNG is treating you well, well, there is a lot of ifs if you know what I mean. Anyways, fellas, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.